Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Garage. Today we're going to demonstrate the new Hunter Aztec ADAS Assist feature. You'll notice that this aligner is a little bit different because it's equipped with that Aztec ADAS Assist feature. We've got dual monitors, an Aztec device, and an Aztec logo here on the aligner. We're going to use this Toyota Camry to demonstrate that feature, but first, let's check the wheel alignment. The next screen asks if we want to calibrate ADAS after the wheel alignment. We need to select what vehicle communication device we're going to use. The feature of this video is the Aztec ADAS Assist feature, so we're going to check that box and press OK. So this is our Aztec screen where we'll communicate with the Aztec technician and do all of our Aztec interaction here with this screen. Now, First, though, we need to complete the wheel alignment and the steering angle sensor reset on this vehicle using the wind align screen here on the left. Let's do that now. So now that those are complete, we can move forward with our Aztec ADAS Assist calibration. To do that, we'll follow our on-screen prompts. It says to plug in the Aztec device into the OBD2 connector to begin the scan, so we'll do that now. Once we've plugged into the vehicle, it's going to populate a pending request with Aztec. So we can find those pending requests here, under the Pending tab. We can see our Toyota Camry here in the list. We'll click to Select, and go down to the bottom and select Perform Calibration. We do have some items to choose for the vehicle here, including why we're calibrating. So I'll choose that we replace the windshield, that we're calibrating the front camera on this vehicle. We're using the Autel Maxxis ADAS system today. If I have any pictures to add, I can do that through the app. Once that's complete, we press ready to calibrate, and we're waiting on the master tech to arrive. While this is occurring, and while we're waiting on the master tech, we can start setting up our fixture. Now that we're connected and the master tech has arrived, he's going to perform the quick scan here from Aztec. While he's doing that, we'll also see information pop up about what fixture we're using today and any details that we need to know there. He's gonna help guide us through that. We'll both see information here on the screen and in the chat box, which we'll use to communicate with the master tech. Let's take a look at that process. The next instruction is the target distance from center of the front bumper is 1102 millimeters. So we're going to set our fixture using a laser tape measure at a distance from the front bumper. And when I have it in place, I'm going to lower my feet to ensure that it stays in place. And recheck, and I'm still good. Because I'm using a fixture, this is a static aftermarket ADAS calibration, so I'm going to click there. Get the instructions to unplug the alignment cameras, remove front targets, install and level our ADAS cameras. So I'll do that now. Another K4 press will allow us to continue to our bar graphs. Now we're going to watch our bar graphs as we make adjustments here to the fixture. We'll set the square first, which is the left-hand bar graph, using this knob on the rear. And then we will set our center. So my next step, I've got it at 1102. I now need to raise it to the proper level. We're going to use the scale on the back to do that, so we're looking for 1,350 millimeters. All right, we are at 1,350 millimeters, and then our target placement distance is at 550. So this particular calibration is going to start with the target centered, and then move to the 550 mark on either side. We'll notice that our scan has passed, so all the scanning was done while we were setting up the fixture, and that's real nice to be able to use that time to do that, so there's little wasted time. We also have our information about the quick scan, that it's complete, there's no DTCs to stop the calibration, but we do get a list of DTCs that the vehicle may have that we may wanna know about. So now that we've got all this information complete, we can press the Fixture Was Aligned button 
to send our information to Aztec on fixture alignment. We would then press the Ready to Calibrate button in the Aztec screen to continue. At this point, the Master Tech is communicating with the vehicle through the Aztec device and the vehicle's computer, looking at this target and going through that ADAS calibration. He'll let us know through the chat when it's time to move this target to the other positions as we go. So we've received a message in the chat that the target memory has been entered. Please put the target in the center position, position one. I'm going to tell him target is in position. Our next instruction is to move to position two, left or driver's side, 550 millimeters from the current position. So I'm going to loosen my knob, roll to the 550 mark, tighten down, and tell him ready. Master Tech now tells us that he's ready to move to position three, the right or passenger side of the car. 550 millimeters from the center position, 1100 millimeters from the current. So I am going to remove the target from this holder and place it on the other holder that I've already set at the proper distance. Clip my safety cable. Verify my measurement. Let him know Ready in position three. So now we get a message that the camera axis adjust is complete. That means that this portion is done. We've positioned our targets appropriately and things went very well. We see our progress bar move forward to calibration complete and the technician is evaluating the results. So now that the alignment and calibration are complete, all that's left are the printouts. WinAlign will have your typical aligner printout without the calibration results available right now for printing. The Aztec report will be available shortly as the master technician needs to finish preparing it. It will be available through their portal and look very similar to the one I'm holding here. It can be printed from any web-enabled device and includes both calibration and wheel alignment results in one document. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.